Hi guys! I filmed this video with Lisa who runs the German version of Cute Life Hacks and we both hope you'll enjoy it. If you love watching giant slime DIYs, then you also have to check out this huge flow I made using 100 squishies. This is on my other channel Macaroon and I've linked it down below. And of course, please click that subscribe button to help get Cute Life Hacks and Macaroon to 1 million subscribers. So we're filming together today and we're actually in Donatentrum, which is a big shopping mall in Vienna. And you might have seen it in one of my really old videos. It's my favorite shopping mall in the whole world. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> so the reason we're here today is because we want to make a giant fluffy slime out of 100 bottles of blue. So for all the American viewers, if you don't know what it is, Bilou is a shower foam that was created by a German YouTuber called Bibi's Beauty Palace. She's basically the most famous German YouTuber there is. She is. And, and the foam is kind of like uh, shaving cream. Yeah, so it's exactly, it's, it's exactly like shaving cream and it smells amazing. And you can get it in all sorts of different fragrances and that's why we want to find 100 bottles of that today. <laughs> and then we'll turn it all into a giant slime. It will slime. be amazing, so you guys have to stay tuned. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine, 29 yeah. Bottles. Twenty-nine bottles. Because one was opened already. People are so weird. Yeah. <laughs> we just dropped off about 50, 60 bottles of Belou. And I just realized that there are actually two different ones. There's a shower foam and there's a body lotion foam. And they're different things, but I think for fluffy slime, that doesn't make a difference. Yeah, I guess that so works too. perfectly fine. So this is not a last. So we're getting to the third shop. Exactly. And we're gonna look for more. just bought everything. We bought over a hundred bottles of Belou, which you guys can see right here. And we also bought tons of glue, tons of contact lens liquid, a huge table full of baking soda. We also decided we're going to make five different giant slimes and each one is going to be a different color so we can combine them all into one huge gigantic slime and you can see the colors mixed together so I think that's going to look pretty I'm cool. really so excited to mix all the different colors together so <laughs> let's go. Let's get started. <laughs> So first up, I realized that making giant slimes is a completely different process to making normal slimes. My slime mountain DIY from last year was smaller, so I was still able to calculate the ingredients. In this case, we had to completely guess the exact amount of everything we wanted to put in. The clip you're watching right now was our first attempt, which ended in a complete fail. We added way too much foam and baking soda, so the final slime became really lumpy and not at all fluffy. However, after a bit of experimentation, we came up with this recipe, which works very well. Start with 2 liters or half a gallon of white PVA glue and pour this into a large container. Then add 2 bottles of shaving foam or shower foam. Of course, you don't have to use the same brand that we're using. Any type of foam works perfectly well for this. Start mixing when you can still see some of the glue. Then keep adding more until your mixture is nice and fluffy. Now add your food coloring or paint. When making small slimes, I noticed that it doesn't make a big difference when you add the coloring. However, with large slimes, it's definitely important to add the color before the contact lens solution because you have to stir it a lot until everything is mixed through. Mixing your slime too much after it's been activated will push the air bubbles out so it won't be as fluffy. As you probably know, slime only works in alkaline or basic pH conditions. Since the shower foam is basically soap, that already raises the pH quite a bit, so you don't need a lot of baking soda. We're only adding one single packet to this entire box. 
A good thing to remember is that if you're making slime with any sort of soap or foam, then you can cut down on baking soda. In comparison, if you're making clear slime, which doesn't have any added ingredients that are alkaline, then you'll need to use a lot more. I actually used 6 times more baking soda to make the same amount of clear slime for my giant foam video. Once your baking soda is mixed through, it's time to add contact lens liquid. Once again, we found out that you need less of this for fluffy slime than clear slime. I'm adding about two thirds of a bottle. Keep on mixing until everything comes together. I definitely recommend using a spoon or rubber gloves since mixing with your bare hands will really dry out your skin. The slime is ready when you can touch it without anything sticking. So now we just made all the remaining slimes in the same way. As mentioned earlier, we actually needed far less foam than we expected, so we decided to hold a giveaway for all the remaining bottles. Please note that this giveaway is only open to Germany, Austria and Switzerland, because these are pressurized bottles and we're not allowed to send them by airmail. However, if you do live in any of these countries, then head over to the German video to take part. It took such a long time to make these that the earlier slimes started to dry off and turned into mini iceberg slimes. These were so much fun to poke and created some brilliant ASMR. Now it's time to put all five slimes into one container.
By the way, you won't believe how this slime ended up looking one week later, so be sure to watch the video to the very end to see how that turned out. Okay, so we're finished with our giant slime. This one looks so much like the rainbow slime mountain I made last year, only a lot bigger. And we actually ended up using less foam than we thought we needed, but this slime actually turned out perfect. So this fluffy slime works perfectly and we're gonna start mixing these all together now. So this is how the slime looks one week later. Lisa actually texted me saying that it was so gross, but I didn't believe her until I saw this footage. As you can see, the top layer became very dark and forms the crust of the remaining slime. It has a strange rubbery texture when you press on it, and the rest of it is just really sticky. What I do find interesting is that this fluffy rainbow slime turned green after a while, whereas the clear rainbow slime I made last year turned brown. If you want to see the comparison, then I've linked both videos below. I hope you enjoyed this DIY, and please remember to subscribe to Cute Life Hacks and Macaroon. This is Joanna, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Tomorrow, tomorrow.